In this example, we are determining whether f is even, odd, or neither. And here is the rule for how you would check. Um, and then I've got several functions we're going to look at. The first function is uh, f of x equals 3x to the fourth minus 2x squared plus 5. And if we're going to check whether it is even, first thing I'm going to notice is that it's got even exponents, so I'm going to think it's even. But to check for sure, we plug in, no matter whether we're checking even or odd, we plug in negative x and we see what happens to the function. So if I plug in negative x for all the x's, and then I evaluate each term, uh, the negative to the fourth is going to become positive, so it's going to be positive 3x to the fourth. Here the negative squared is going to be positive, it's going to become positive x squared, so it'll be negative 2x squared, and then 5 is not changing. So if we compare our answer to our original function, nothing changed. So we plugged in a negative but got the original function back, this would be even. We plugged in a, a negative but got the original function back. Uh, part B. Let's look at the function f of x equals 2x to the fifth minus 7x cubed plus 4x. First thing I'm noticing is that all these exponents are odd, so I think it might be odd, but I'm going to use my little rule and check. I'm going to plug in negative x for all the x's. And then we're going to look at what happens. So if I plug in negative x to the fifth, the fifth exponent, or the odd exponent, is going to keep that negative. So I'm going to bring that in front and call it negative 2x to the fifth. On this next one, this negative to the third, the odd exponent is going to keep the negative. So I'm just going to move it in front and make it positive 7x cubed. And then here, this negative to the first is not going to change the negative, so it's going to be negative 4x. So if I compare my function to the original, I notice the first term has become negative, the second term had a negative and turned positive, and the third term has changed into a negative. So if all three terms are changing sign, then that means you plugged in a negative and got the negative of the function, the complete opposite function, which makes it odd. Third one we're going to check, C, we're going to have function f of x equals x cubed plus x squared. Here I'm seeing a combination of exponents, an odd exponent and an even exponent, so I'm thinking it's going to be neither, but I'm going to check by plugging in a negative x, and I get negative x cubed, negative x squared, and then from there the negative cubed is going to stay negative. The negative squared is going to cancel the negative. So I'm getting, if I compare my original, the first term is different, but the second term is the same. So that's a little bit of both, so it's neither. If it all changes, it's odd, and if nothing changes, it's even.